Happy first Monday after daylight savings time. Take seven. Still dark out. Today's adventures are morning route, morning elementary school route, and then I have a field trip from that elementary school going to Orange County. Never been to this destination before. It's uh, La Mirada Performing Arts Center or something like that in La Mirada. And after that, I pick up students from a high school and take them back to a middle school. So it should be a most interesting day. informed me I'll be in an electric tomorrow because my bus is needed to leave town. No problem, I'll be back in 43. Drove that one last week. I think last Thursday in the rain. way stop.
Lancer bus, number 23. It's kind of early to put on your hazard lights for a railroad crossing. also known as Route 66, we get a lot of pedestrian traffic at this corner, even this time in the morning. No one's there this morning, but if you're in the right lane and someone wants to make a right turn, you're delayed because of pedestrian traffic. Then when the cars cross over the intersection, the first two driveways are also extremely busy because you have a Starbucks and a couple of banks that people turn into in the morning. So. As a rule, an unwritten rule, we run in the left lane until we pass that second driveway, which is there, and then I move over to the right lane and continue my trip up north. You get stuck with the pedestrians, you get stuck with traffic all of a sudden, just stopping and making a right turn into the, those driveways will mess up your day, slow you down. So, it's what we do. Now, the rest of the trip up, I'm in the right lane, because I'll be making a right turn in about a mile and a half. different because the route I'm covering ends at the school and picking up for the field trip. So after I drop off the kids, I have to time myself so that the other bus comes in first, dropping off students, and then I'll just hang out at the school wait for the field trip. And my wife is doing the second part of the route I'm covering. She's going to do the high school portion. Because you drop off at the high school about 7.55, 8 o'clock. And our pickup for the field trip is 8 o'clock. If I were to do that route, I'd 
be coming in as bus number three. And I'm voted in to be bus number one, so she's going to cover that route and she'll end up being bus number three. I'll still be bus number one. My knowledge of the California freeway system and some areas comes in handy, so all the senior drivers will vote for me to be the lead driver. There's no extra pay for lead driver. That goes up this or bus number 90. There's no extra pay for being lead driver. There's no authority with lead driver. It's just that you're the first one and everybody follows you. And if you mess up, they'll tell you. I've been lead driver about 95% of the time since I started with the district. My very first treat, uh, first trip, I was behind a senior driver. I was following the directions on the route sheet with a trip sheet, and she went a different way, so I followed her, because you followed the lead driver. She gets off the freeway and says, I don't know where I'm going. I said, ah, it's no problem. We go down here, here, here. Okay, you lead. Word got out. destination was is because I've been there half a dozen times for other things. I've had my license to drive buses in California since 1985, but I haven't always worked as a school bus driver. I maintain my certificate and drove here and there, but... Opportunity calls, and you take people up on it, so... My time in the corner office here as a school bus driver was from October of 1985 to September of 1987. September 1987, I was promoted to the position of field supervisor trainer for the Laidlaw Foothill Transit contract. And at the same time, I inherited dispatcher and charter manager. Because when you're in public transit, even transit services or school bus services, you wear multiple hats. In uh, 1991, I earned the position of uh, transit manager. I was very happy, and then the client Foothill Transit came over and whined and dined me and convinced me to go to work for them. So in uh, August of 1991, I went to work for Foothill Transit in the capacity of field operation, or senior operations supervisor. The senior operations supervisor basically put me in the position of the operations manager for Foothill Transit Zone for a couple of years. It had some fun parts, it had some high stress parts. So, left them in uh, May of 93. Went to back to driving school buses. For a few days. And word got out I was in the wind. And uh, a friend who worked for uh, another transit agency called up one of his contractors and said, hire this guy. And uh, next thing you know, I'm the uh, 
dispatcher for a new access project that uh, Mayflower has in Highland, California. On that job, I worked my way up from dispatcher to man uh, assistant manager, and then I was promoted to a manager at another yard. And then they wanted me back at the original yard, so they found a manager to replace me in Cucamonga, running the access program, and brought me back to Highland. And then uh, another company contacted me and said, we put you in a project. Somehow they found out about me from my time at Foothill. They put me in a bid and well, and then in uh, July 1995, actually June 1995, I left Laidlaw and went to work for a company called Larson Transportation Services. And then I worked as the project manager for the, the Kuiper Redlands Dollar Ride for three years. Occasionally I'd drive school bus, keep my fingers in it, maintain my hours. And then uh, 98 contract came to an end. My company at that time then uh, sold to Ryder. For a year, I worked as a general manager for Ryder Corporation, Ryder ATE. Contract came to an end. Laidlaw found out I was in the wind again and invited me over to be the uh, division manager of the uh, access services that I was involved in earlier. And then when that contract came to an end, I shut down the operation. I applied for school bus driver for Fontana Unified. Laidlaw came to me and said, hey, we need an interim assistant general manager of the Animal Valley Transfer Authority. Do you want to play? I said, yes, what the work. Did that project, they lost their contract, so I shut down their operation, because I just shut down another one from the earlier. And then I came back to drive a school bus for Fontana in 2001. So, in this business, you can do anything you want. If you have a desire to get into management, you want to be a general manager or something thereof, then go to work for a contractor like uh, First Students, Visser, uh, STA, Student Transportation of America. One of the contractors, go to work for them. And you get promoted a lot faster if you go to work for a school district. If all you want to do is drive school bus and have no desire to do anything other than driving school bus, and there's nothing wrong with that, then you uh, go to work for a district. Okay, that car just stopped. It's got one of my students on board, so that's it for here.